Hey Giants fans, Ryan Dunleavy, beat reporter for NJ Advanced Media here. And if you believe in bad omens, the first offensive series of the Giants 2018 season must have sent a shiver down your spine. Eric Flowers was called for two penalties, a hold that nearly cost the Giants two points with a safety in the end zone, almost, and a trip on the very first offensive snap of the season. Who would have thought the obvious number one concern for the offense would have been a huge problem on the very first offensive series? Yeah, it does seem kind of predictable. And yet the Giants have passed at least four times on an opportunity to sign somebody to either challenge Flowers for his starting job at right tackle or to unseat Flowers as the starting right tackle. Now remember, the Giants signed Nate Solder to play left tackle and move Flowers to right tackle, hoping that would solve some of the struggles that he's had his first three years in the NFL. But it wasn't enough. Considering the first round of free agency, the Giants passed on Cam Fleming, an offensive tackle who went from the Patriots to the Cowboys for a one-year, $2.5 million deal. A bargain considering the Giants are paying their number three running back, Jonathan Stewart, more than that. That money could have easily gone to Fleming. Then take the draft. Even if you pass on offensive tackles in the first four rounds and take quarterback Kyle Laletta, even though at the time you had Davis Webb, from after the point where Laletta was picked in the fourth round of the draft, there were nine offensive tackles taken four of whom are on their teams too deep right now. That means that, and that's not including Desmond Harrison from the Browns who went undrafted and is their starting left tackle. He's a guy who had some character concerns uh, for every team in the draft, coming out of uh, Division II uh, FCS school, and had transferred from Texas. Everybody passed on him, so you can't kill the Giants for that. But I had the Giants taking Harrison in the fourth or fifth round of a couple of my mock drafts. But the, you can, look, they, they passed on a lot of offensive tackles. Their fourth round pick, Loletta, will, probably won't take a snap all season. Their fifth round pick, R.J. McIntosh, a defensive lineman, hasn't even practiced yet because of an undisclosed illness. That's all of spring, all of summer, hasn't practiced is on their non-football injury list. So that's two guys the Giants drafted who aren't even impacting a team that is clearly built to win now. Then they passed on help for Flowers again in the second round of free agency after the draft. Didn't go after Greg Robinson, a guy who's been a draft bust, a former number two pick, uh, bounced around a couple teams. But again, he could at least challenge Flowers. They passed on Austin Howard, a guy who signed with the Colts. He's already been cut and is back on free agency. But again, maybe he challenges Flowers. Maybe he motivates Flowers. And then this past weekend, they passed on help again. TJ Clemmings, a former uh, Vikings offensive lineman who knows Pat Shermer, cut by the Redskins, claimed by the Raiders off waivers. The Giants could have claimed him before the Raiders if they wanted to. They didn't. They claimed an offensive guard slash center in Spencer Pulley. So now what do the Giants do? After Four times after passing on help for Flowers, they could go back to free agency this week. Now that contracts for veterans aren't guaranteed after week one, they could look for help. I mentioned Austin Howard, Luke Jokel, another former number two pick in the draft who was a bust. Uh, former Texans teammates Derek Newton and Chris Clark. Uh, Eric Winston, a veteran. Um, but really, they're, they're out of luck. It's too late to make a move here that's really going to impact the 2018 season. They're going to have to ride with Flowers unless they make some sort of trade. One name to remember, Jeremiah, Jeremiah Sriles, a um, former Vikings offensive lineman, former Panthers offensive lineman who is a guard. Uh, maybe he comes in and they can rotate some pieces around. Uh, certainly a familiarity factor. Anyway, th stay tuned to NJ.com slash Giants for all your coverage, especially of the offensive line this week.